So if I look at my buckskin guy here where my shadows have fallen, I can tell. I can look and I see I want to make, I want to look for my deepest darks now at this point. These edges may be a little hard, but I'm not going to stress over it right now. You can tell this edge has softened a bit on the uh, uh, on the neck muscle here. I do want to clean up this jaw line a little bit. There's jaw line. This jaw looks a little too angular. So let me clean that up first before I add any paint. So let me switch brushes. And I'll get a little scrubby brush. Okay, since this line is so teeny. See this line is just so teeny right here. It's just a little bit of correction. Because see how this comes straight and then it, it angles instead of rounds like the jawline should. And actually, you know what? This angle goes too far away from the eye. I think that angle needs to come more straight. Let me get a pencil mark. Okay, that's what I need to do. See how this line falls away this way on that jowl, and instead it needs to be more, more perpendicular, or, or perpendicular, parallel to the way the eye falls. So, so I'm just going to make a simple correction. That line needs to go straight. And get rid of that first. Get rid of that that line right there first. So I'm trying to see which which little brush head here is going to do better. I'm going to try this little one first. I think. So I'm going to get it damp. don't want a lot of water on it and so to correct I'm going to come in behind it and just push that in oh that's cleaning up good or well there we go now I can come back a D and put in the shadow values, and that'll pronounce that a bit. Now, let's see if I can get rid of that pencil mark. There we go. Okay, now, there, okay, now, I think the best way would, is going to be to come this way. do that. And let's clean that up over there. So when you 
you're working in these small format pictures, it helps to have a nice little stiff bristle brushes. Um, this is a, uh, let's see if I can get that for you, Micro Mini from Creative Mark. It's a 12 aught. And it's a little shader type brush. And I think I have, um, I think I've shaped this one a little bit. I think I've cut some of the bristles off to give it a little more angular shape. All right, let's get that jaw cleaned up. There we go. Now, it gives that jaw more nice rounded, rounded feel. Now when that dries, I'll come in and I'll redo my shading here. Um, cause there's, cause in the anatomy, this jawbone is going to hinge up here right behind the eye. So we're just going to follow the contours of that bone that goes up into that hinge behind the eye orbit or the eye socket there. Okay. All right, I think I like that better. Okay, very good. Now, is my paint dry here? Pretty much, pretty much. So, now let me add, now I can start, I'm gonna f start adding some fine line details to the legs. And this time I'm, I'm going to use a mixing color uh, Payne's Gray, which is a combination of black and blue, if you read the pigments on it. And I'm going to need to use a, let me get one of my little brushes here. Let's see which tip we're going to use. Okay. All right, let me try. I'm going to try this one. This is a Windsor, Windsor Newton uh, Triple Aught Series 7 Sable. I've had this brush. This is one of my first little miniature tip brushes that I bought uh, many years ago. You can see that's a little teeny little tip of a brush there. And so to pick up the water, now I'm picking up the paint from a dry pan. I haven't made a solution. So it's going to be the most concentrated. And obviously since that's a little, little teeny brush head, it's going to hold a lot. So that's not gonna hold too much is what I mean to say. So I'm just gonna kinda of start brushing in our outline here and this is just straight Payne's gray pick up a little more Okay, I need, to, I need a little more water on it. Get that paint flowing a bit. 
Okay. Of course, it's going to be, this is my dark. And yes, this is very tedious detailing now here. There, I added a little more water. up a little more water I've learned this is how you can practice controlling you see this is mostly dry paint very little water Now I'm going to get another brush, a little bigger, a little bigger on my bristles. Let's see, where is that rigger? Nope, that's here, not it. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to, oh, this is called a script brush. Take the script brush and just start coaxing that color in. leave that highlight there so I may want to draw some of that out just a bit I'll just use this script brush and I'll just draw out some of that go back and lay in just a little more black a little more of that Payne's gray and then I'm gonna bring down some more this I'm gonna add more brownish for our shadow and bring it down more into that okay so I'm gonna leave that like so and now I'll start on this front leg here All right, just start outlining our knee. And when you're doing these paintings, the detailing comes in toward the end of the painting. And this is where your colors are a little more thickened. You're not using quite so much water 
when you lay in the paint. Okay, that's got a good pan of color. I'll use my little script brush that holds a little more water. I start working on the hoof here now. Okay. Lighten up that knee just a tad. Lift with a little water. I need to lift a little bit here. Soften that just a bit. And let me fill that back in. There we go. Okay. Now let's go over here to this guy. Just like there. So it's more dark on this side. I'm trying to remember using my reference photo as a guide. Okay, then I think what I'm going to do is just, let me see how much water I got left over here. Yeah, I still got plenty. I'll just wet this and see if it'll just draw it over. And I think it will. Okay, let me see this. See if I can feather that up a bit. Just add a little clear water. I do want to be careful. This Payne's gray can dilute out pretty bluish. Okay, so remember now this one. Uh, this back leg. I think I'm just going to put just a teeny, teeny bit. Just use what's on this rigger brush. Because I remember I want this to have a higher key. So I don't want it that leg to be just a little more gray and we're just gonna tap in. Back there. All right, I'm just gonna leave that, not get too involved. Okay. So, 
And for the tail, I'm going to stick with this rigger brush. Because the tail hairs don't have to be quite as defined as the legs.